It's been years since Downton Abbey the series ended. Since then, we've got not one, but two movies. Why not make it a trilogy? For one, Downton Abbey's creator is fine if a new era is the end of the series. So what did Michael C. Fox have to say about a third movie? Is Downton Abbey really being removed from Netflix? Which cast members had a baby in secret? Let's find out. But first, Downton Abbey really to be removed from Netflix. When Downton Abbey was added to Netflix in 2021, the world seemed to make a little more sense. A show that sounds like it should be boring has become the blankie and comfort food for the masses. A comfort that is about to be taken away by Netflix, at least for the fans from the United States, because it's been revealed that all seasons of Downton Abbey will be removed from US Netflix on June 1st, 2022. Despite the fact that Downton Abbey has consistently been among the most popular shows on the platform, this means that the announcement has already made lots of fans angry, especially since the new movie Downton Abbey A New Era has just been released in the UK, with only a few more weeks until the fans in the US can see it as well. Many would like to revisit the comfort that you can only find in Downton Abbey. And it's not just Downton Abbey. Netflix has been removing and canceling a lot of fan favorites, but maybe in this case, it was gonna happen anyway. According to what's on Netflix, the series only had a one-year contract with Netflix, and that contract has simply come to an end. It is yet to be confirmed whether this means Downton Abbey will be removed globally. Next, Hugh Dancy admits Downton Abbey 2 was a terrifying experience. One of the reasons it's such a comfort to escape into the world of Downton Abbey is the fact that it's so successful in offering an almost flawless immersive experience. But for the actors, it's a whole other story. For Hannibal actor Hugh Dancy, it was downright terrifying. But given that Dancy must have seen far worse on the set of Hannibal, this is hard to imagine. Well, it's not so much the show as the location that Downton Abbey was filmed, High Clear Castle, a location that surrounds you with paintings that are of such value and historical worth that you can't even ensure them. You have to be very, very careful. It's basically terrifying, the actor said in an interview with Digital Spy. Dancy says that means that Downton Abbey is a strange place to work, even more so because High Clear Castle isn't exactly an empty building. It is the home of the Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. Though it is partly open to the public, there's a big difference between going on a tour of the grounds and descending on them for weeks or months at a time with an entire film crew. The Earl and Countess aren't that impressed anymore, though it must still be nerve-wracking to have all those people around your personal stuff. But after 12 years, they're pretty used to it and keep out of the way most of the time. Must be weird to see your home on TV like that, though. Next up, it's Laura Carmichael and Michael C. Fox who welcomed First Baby together. A year after the Downton Abbey TV series came to an end, Laura Carmichael and Michael C. Fox finally went public with their relationship. The two had met on the set of Downton Abbey, and Fox stood in the shoes of footman Andrew Parker. It came completely out of the blue, but they sure made an entrance, because they decided to tell the world by stepping out together at a fashion event. But that didn't mean the couple started to open up about their relationship much more. In fact, the two both prefer to keep work and private separate, and their fame is obviously work. Carmichael and Fox are pretty serious about it as well, or they're just perfect at keeping secrets, because the happy couple welcomed the son to the world in March 2021. His name is Luca, and when his parents finally made his presence in the world known to the public, he was already a good 14 months. How the couple managed to avoid the spotlight in their first year of parenthood with such success is a bit of a mystery, but we can't help but admit it was a good idea. This way, the new parents have been able to enjoy the first year of their newborn in peace, which they most definitely deserve. Don't go anywhere just yet. Next up, what do we know about Downton Abbey 3? What did Michael C. Fox have to say about a third Downton Abbey movie? And does it matter if Julian Fellows, the creator, would be fine if this is the end? Let's dig into it. First up, Michael C. Fox teased third Downton Abbey movie. Even though Downton Abbey the TV series has been over for some years now, there are still those among us who are just not ready to let go of the characters and the comfortable escapism it offers. And they're not alone. Michael C. Fox, who didn't get nearly as many episodes on the show as some original cast, is absolutely not ready to let go. If it had been up to him, Downton Abbey would have gone on for a few years. In an interview with BBC Breakfast correspondent Lizzie Greenwood Hughes, the actor said that it may not be the end after all. Well, for the Downton Abbey universe. The TV series had run its course, and it's highly unlikely that there's a way for it to be rebooted. But when it comes to another movie, there is a good possibility that Wish will come true. Obviously, the cast is just as much in love with the show as the rest of the world is, and most of them would be more than willing to turn these two Downton Abbey movies into a trilogy. In any case, Joanne Froggett, who plays the lovely Mrs. Bates, wholeheartedly agrees. As long as Julian Fellows still wants to write, and the fans want more as well, she's convinced that everyone would be very keen to jump back in as well. So then, next up, what do we know about Downton Abbey 3? Downton Abbey 2 hasn't even been released worldwide, and we're already trying to get signs for a Downton Abbey 3. Yes, without shame, yes. Because just like Michael C. Fox, we're not ready to let go from the Downton Abbey. And now we've got two movies. Why not just make it a trilogy while we're at it? Well, it's a good thing that creator Julian Fellows knows what's good for business. Just like some cast, Fellows has hinted that a third Downton Abbey movie lies within the realm of possibilities. Fellows told The Mail Online that it's foolish to not give people what they want, especially in the business that he's in. He said goodbye to the characters of Downton Abbey so many times, he couldn't even give a number anymore. But time and again, Fellows would find himself working on another series or movie. Sounds like even the creator himself 
itself isn't ready to let go. Not to mention, as the Express pointed out, the second movie has us put in the early 1930s. The 30s would give Fellows a wealth of history to immerse Downton Abbey and our beautiful characters in. So all there's left is to confirm that there's gonna be a Downton Abbey 3, right? Right? At last, Downton Abbey creator is fine if a new era is the end of the series. Even though everyone is clearly going to be more than a little welcoming if they were to announce a third Downton Abbey movie, as long as there's no official confirmation, there really isn't anything that can assure us that we'll get our comfort food back. But as far as Julian Fellows is concerned, anything is possible. Including that, without even realizing it, a new era also meant the end of one, the era of Downton Abbey. In an interview with Sky News, Fellows said that he wouldn't mind if it ran its course. To which he added, and if we've given some enjoyment to people over the years, then that makes me very happy. Well, one thing's for sure, he has given people much enjoyment. And it would be fair if this is where the story ends. But nothing is set in stone just yet. Even though these days it can be hard to get everyone together, the cast is quite big after all. If everyone is in, Fellows did say that he's pretty sure they could find a way to make it happen. So let's make sure we let him know how much we love Downton Abbey 2. So they had no choice but to give us Downton Abbey 3. And that was it. Are you planning to rewatch Downton Abbey before it's removed from Netflix? Would you like to have a third Downton Abbey movie? Please let us know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching.